What's going on guys? Cameo Tutorials here and today I'll be showing you guys how to do a walk cycle. Uh, it's not really a walk cycle, it's more just like a walk sequence, like someone just walking. So um, yeah, and the rig I will put in the description, it's uh, BMR 4.0, which is uh, Blue Monkey Rig, so as you can see like the teeth have that. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Blender and you're going to see the rig and it will look something like right about here. It's just going to look plain and you won't know what to do. All you have to do is scroll, go down here right here and you'll see when your mouse starts the arrows point up and down. You just pull it up and there's the timeline. Next you're just going to press this back because it's usually going to be on the first frame and I'll just press this to get back to zero or you can just drag this around. And then you turn off, make sure no sync is on AV sync. Press this little red button, which is the keyframe button. And you can press this if you want. I usually do, it's automatic keyframe, so every time you move a bone, it auto it's like sets a keyframe. I usually turn it on. And then you press this right here. And you're gonna look for lock rot, rot scale, which is location rotation scale. And then you press A twice, and then press I once. It should say successfully added 260 keyframes for keying set and then location rotation scale. And then it should look something like this. Next what you want to do is you want to zoom over into your timeline until you see each one has about 5. Maybe you can zoom in a little more to get more of a better thing but I usually go to around where it says 5 and stuff. And then you go to this middle bone and you just start the first pose which is usually going to be the body bended and then the legs kind of like that and then you're gonna want to set whichever leg goes forward the arm goes in the opposite direction so since this leg is going forward the arm is going to be going backward and since this leg is going backward this arm is going to be going forward so usually I just kind of rotate the arms just to get a kind of like more realistic feel of it and you don't have to bend the body yet that's I don't do that first so yeah so it should look something like this. Maybe you might want to switch it up a little bit to make it look, if you want it like fully bended on the back, you can do that. And then it sets a keyframe on every single bone. But if it didn't, you could press AA and then I again. And then you go to about frame 10 and you grab this bone right here and you literally just push it forward. Or you could just press this tool, which is a magnet tool, click it and you could do that. But usually for more like, realistic kind of looking walks instead of it just being the same exact like length per step I usually just pull it forward a little bit then it should look weird it should look like the character just kind of pushes forward and if, if you feel like it's too slow you can always push the body forward and then on this frame frame 10 you move this leg and you push it forward pretty simple But as you notice, the leg kind of looks, it looks just like very like it slides. So what you have to do is you go to frame 5 and you lift whichever leg is going, whichever leg is going to be in front, you lift it up and then you rotate, you pull this body part, just lift it up and then it should look a little more natural. And then when you go on frame 10, you just push the body down a little bit. Still looks a little bit like wonky and unnatural looking, so... But that will all be fixed like once it starts to kind of pick up. And then you're just going to do the same thing for the next step. And usually I just push the body just a little bit. You should get this. It looks weird. If you just pull it a little forward. And then you go to frame 15. And you lift the opposite leg up. And lift the body up. And then... You just push the body down a little bit. And these are the first two steps to walk. And it still looks weird because the arms and the body and the head, they don't move at all. So next, you want to just go to the first arm, make sure a keyframe is set, and go to frame 10 and move it backwards. Usually, if you want, you can go to frame 5 and kind of push it out to the left. But it also does, it depends like how you feel about that. 
if you think it will look better then you can do that that's up to you and I kind of just gave them a curve then you just do the same exact thing except opposite to the next 10 frames And it kind of does look a little weird because of the arm rotation, so I'm just going to kind of fix that by making sure that this isn't out. Kind of like, just kind of fixing it up a little bit. It kind of just goes by seeing what's best. I accidentally just zoomed in a little too much. So next, to try to get a better, more, still more, it still looks wonky like this, uh, still looks weird. So to get a more natural, kind of cool looking look, uh, this rig also has like wrists. So you just kind of, you can keyframe these. And then on about frame 5, just set keyframes every 5 frames. And then on the middle, or whichever foot is going forward, if the hand goes back, then this is going to go back. And if it goes forward, then it goes forward. So it's going to be like starting here. And then back. And then forward. And you could do the same with the other arm. Just set some keyframes. And at this point, I would probably just stop it at about 25 set the end set to 25 so you can kind of just watch it and see it still looks weird because the body and the head haven't moved yet so and I kind of have to fix the rotation on these so as you can see right here it's like not straight which also is fine because if it's too straight it kind of looks more robotic than um, realistic but it depends on how you're trying to get it because it is Minecraft so I just keep from every five frames. And then you kind of want to lift the head up just a little bit. Tilt it up to kind of get that like head bobbing. I mean, you can kind of lift it higher if you want. It just depends. Like you just keep rewatching it. And now about frame 10, usually I put the head down so it's like up and then down. Kind of looks starting to look better. And then for the eyes, like also keyframe those. And on the fifth frame, they kind of go up. And on the tenth frame, they kind of go down. But that also depends because I think five frames for the eyes is a little too long. But it also depends on how you feel because maybe someone won't see that person's eyes when they're walking. So I'm just going to actually end this at frame 20. I don't know why I did 25. So now it's look, starting to, it's looking a lot better. So next I'm just going to work on the body now because it's not moving at all. So again I set it every five keyframes by pressing I by the way. Or you could just move it a little bit and it will just set a keyframe if you have automatic keyframing set. So you just lift the head up and I kind of push it down. And a little bit up and down. Maybe I did it a little too high. It's kind of just like messing around with it to get a better um, look. Like I still think I got it kind of a little too high. You can also tilt the head like, like this. Kind of looks cool in my opinion. 
like with that tilted. And for the first frame, I'll just lift the head up or down actually. So that goes up. And then usually I just pull this up just to press this and then I press N on my keyboard and I just scroll up, go to only render so you can kind of see how it looks rendered. And the arm kind of like moves a little much, like it bends a little too much so I'm just going to fix that. I don't like it when the arm bends too much. That's a lot better, it looks more casual. And that's kind of basically it, like, I mean, you could make a few adjustments by moving the torso around, like moving it up, and then if you wanted to move it down, and then up, but that's also another thing, like, if that's your opinion, if you want to do it like that. It's not, like, necessary to making it look better. Or it makes it look a little bit more realistic, but if you're not going for a more, if you're going for a more blocky type, then... This is kind of what looks how it would look. And I'm just gonna have like the mouth kind of. I guess I could just do like a little bit of that. You know, I'll make a smile, I guess. It's a nice rig, it's very customizable. So yeah, this is basically it. If you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to comment below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.